Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Days Gone. In the last video, we did some things. It's been a little while for me, so I don't quite remember. But we definitely did things. Society might try to tell you otherwise, but they're, they're doing well. Nice. Uh, today, we're going to go activate the checkpoint at Horse Lake Nero. Okay, no, it's at Horse Lake. <laughs> it's a Nero checkpoint. Then we're going to go to Copeland's camp. Um, we still need to decide about who we're going to give the drugs to. I'm actually leaning towards Copeland the more I thought about it, but... We'll see how I feel when we get there. And uh, I go on a nice little jaunt down the mountain. Don't have to click a bloody thing. Well, except the analog stick, obviously. It's actually getting a little bit, <laughs> a little bit speedy. For oh, there's a bear trap there. And I've lost all my speed. I wonder how far I can go without touching the accelerator. This is uphill. Can I... Oh, nice! Okay, so that's actually pretty good. If you ever run out of fuel, you could... Uh, you know, walk your bike over to the uh, gas tank, fuel pump, and other such American things. I'm not going to use a single bit of fuel. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that uh, boozer, you there? That idea might be dead. Oh no, we're going this way. Up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. I saw a question mark. I wanted it. That's great. <laughs> I can bury this shit out here again. Oh yeah, because they're assholes. Okay. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Damn, the zombie did some work on me. I keep seeing the question marks and then they, they disappear like two seconds later. Like, I just saw one over there. I think they disappear when you get to within like a certain distance. I mean, this is pretty suspicious looking, this whole area. Oh, hello, red chest. What do you do? Flammable. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe a spot above it. That's a lot of zombies. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus! What? Okay, I think I need to run. What the hell? Hordes are large groups of swarmers that move and act as a single entity. During the day, they hibernate in caves. They feed at night, avoid engaging. Yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not ready for this, am I? Where's my bloody bike? I don't know about stamina. Jesus. <clears throat> Where's my bike? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck me. No, no, no! Ah! Okay, well, that's the first death. Um, did not expect that. I thought, oh, we'll go in. We'll I'll get a couple of kills and clear out the area. Jesus, that's terrifying, and that is, I assume, a small horde. <laughs> I know they get into the hundreds at least. Alright, let's go give that a bloody hell. I mean, I clearly ran past my bike at some point. I didn't lose my Molotov, did I? Have not. Alright, that's kind of cool, Deeks. I'll give you that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh boy. <clears throat> How do you ever prepare for something like that? I mean, clearly you can't. You must need. Like an assault rifle with tons of ammo, right? Hey there. I was just calling a check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I'm so good. You just work on getting better. 
Bloody die. One v one. Oh, whoa. I thought I was about to hit her, so I kind of held off. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear, but once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Mouse grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Jesus, man. Yeah, not bad. Bloody hell, how many hits do you need? Okay. Hmm. I was curious if the swarm was like a, a temporary thing for the area, but uh, I'm not convinced by that, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh, yep, yeah, no, okay, never mind. God damn it, where's my bike? I'm gonna die again. <laughs> I'm so dead. Okay, right. Um, huh. So what do we do? <laughs> it's the question. Do we just have to be sneaky? I know I'm kind of messing around. I, I really thought the swarm wasn't gonna be there. The second time I thought, oh wait, it'll be a, uh, like a random event, basically. But it does appear that it is very directly tied to that location, so we're gonna have to go in very sneakily. We really need a silencer. Oh, shut up. I was hoping I could, um. Boozer, you there? Blow up the uh, tank. Calling a check up on you. Kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Okay, the bike stays up and far away. Work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out. More bounties. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Mouse grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. I don't feel like this was the best way to get there. <laughs> okay, if it's only those, I can handle it. I'm gonna run away first. Jesus. Okay. You don't have to say anything. <clears throat> You're all very impressed with my shooting right there. <laughs> Oh, you better bloody had be, because that was great. Okay, that I got like a little bit of the horde. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's a mass grave. Not only would they rise from all the dead bodies, but they would come to feast, assumedly. So it does make sense why there's so many of them there, and you can really see them when you... I mean, they weren't there when I was here. Look at them. Jesus. That's some spooky shit right there. <laughs> It really is. I got a use for you. Yeah, that, I mean that's definitely suggesting there's a uh, a nest in the area. Oh, hello, cheeky. Oh, is this a? Uh... Oh no, this this. ammo. Ammo's cool though.
That's so spooky, man. It really is. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'm not sure I love the, the, my constant deaths, but um, it is very cool. I've been thinking a lot about the um, the skills I've taken, and I regret all of them. <laughs> Basically, I don't think those plant ones were a good idea. Also, I've kind of committed now, and it's fine. It's not. It's not a big deal. Now, no, 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 no. This is one of those Nero checkpoints, which means what we need to do, <laughs> especially with the freaking horde over there. What we need to do is disable these, right? Oh, that one's already disabled. Probably a uh, suggestion that you're gonna have to do it. We'll make sure we turn all these ones off before we turn the power on. Although, in theory, <laughs> so what are these? Yeah, scrap. Why can't you open them? Um, in theory, and they're everywhere as well. In theory, could I not stand on top of the building and be okay? How the hell do I get in there? Let's focus on climbing first. Powers off, figures. Here, so many zombies. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to climb up first. over there, I think. Take any kills I can get to fit in the herd, you know. Get some ears. The two most important things. How do I turn this on? How do I get in there? Um. Because obviously there's barbed wire. I can't, I can't. There's barbed wire all over the top, so I clearly can't climb in from here. Ah, do I have to go up onto the top where the train is, maybe? Onto there, and then down, yeah. Yeah? Hmm. No. Doubt it. Well, ironically, don't know what to do at this point in time. These are all locked. Locked tight. Maybe I can push that car down? Yeah, that'll be it. This is some nerve-wracking stuff, man. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Wait, it's just gonna make some noise. I can see this just like slipping down, you know? I think we're okay. You have a lot of zombies nearby. Now I know I need to go in there, but I saw some loot over here. God, I wish I had a silencer. Down you go. Okay. I was really hoping to uh, fix that. Fix the weapon. Climb. Don't look like that. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good thing, though. All right. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is proper horror stuff. I think that's all of them. Uh, I've got a slight concern I had to bring a gas canister up here. How can we get out of fuel? 
Yeah, of course. Bloody, as soon as, as soon as I dropped down, I, th I thought, yeah, I messed up here. We can get back up easy enough. Wait, what? How do we get out? <laughs> can I climb out this way? Uh, okay. I really thought that door was going to open from the other side. I'm just trying to keep a rough idea of where the horde is as well. There's a gas canister over there. There's one down here as well, actually. Some more. Problem is, I really don't want to use my gun in this situation, you know? So one-on-one, -on -one I'm okay, because I can knife people down. Even though it takes bloody ages. But man, if I end up fighting multiple, I'm in a I'm in a little trouble. No, nope. leave me alone. <laughs> Stupid zombie. Wait, what? How did you? <laughs> oh crap. Hell, did you get in here? You cheeky son of a gun. Oh, I don't like this at all. Man, this is spooky. I really got a concern that door's gonna automatically come on. What if I what if I didn't get all the things? Oh, I need to turn it on. Right. There's three. I think those cables link directly to them, so we should be okay. Green lights, green lights are good. Green. Damn it! That's gonna bring them all down on me. What is? Oh man, there's one out there somewhere. Okay, I don't think they can open the door. I mean, I hope not. I didn't see it. Right, well, I mean, it's, it's miles away. It's, it's not actually right by me or anything, so... If anything, I'm a genius. Inadvertently, I'll admit. Sir, we got a problem. We got a lot of... Yeah, a Nero injector. What's that? There you go. So I think we're done with this, right? I mean, I guess so. I'm gonna go to Copeland's camp. Uh... I'm fu <laughs> I really don't feel good about this. Time to run. There's a reason I just picked up stamina <laughs> rather than anything else. How many have I got on me? Okay, it's only three, I think. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm going to ignore health. Health doesn't feel... Like, I know I've died a couple of times, but I, in the end of the day, I could have had, like, ten times more health and I still would have died in both of those situations, you know? Stamina and focus seem way more important to me, and that's what I'm going to focus on. I think if I had, like, unlimited focus, I could take out that entire horde without much trouble, really. Focus is super good. I only took stamina in this situation because I'm scared. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure I could run away. Get the hell out of here. I need to get out of combat, man. Also, is this meant to be nighttime? When I was checking on the Nexus for this game, when I first uh, planned to play it, I was looking on PC, of course, for this mods, and... Um... God damn. They are everywhere at nighttime, aren't they? A lot of the mods were... Um... Darker nights. I can see why. <laughs> if it has been nighttime, God only. Well, I mean, I can't tell. Let's put it that way. I want to get out of combat so I can fast travel, but I don't think it's going to happen at this point. So we're just going to just going to ride. I think it maybe is daytime. God only knows, honestly. Hello. What is this? Where are we? Which ones have oh, we gone on literally every single- what is that? Oh, it's a fast travel thing. Can I fast travel now? Yeah! Get me out of there! Bloody hell! <laughs> mm. I should have took a photo with the horde. Now that I think about it- oh, do I have to take these trucks off? Hello. I bring drugs. Maybe. You, uh, need something, man? Hey, Manny. I can't give you the drug. You told me to bring you the drugs. <laughs> Did you not? That's all I got today. Hey. How's it going? Yes. You do the killing. Two hundred thirteen. Oh, That's all I got. Yep. I've got. I've got. Whoa! I've like doubled my money. Okay. What's up? And we also have. What's going on? Um. I don't know if those are permanent. I don't think they are. You know. For thirty dollars, there's no way they're permanent. I'm gonna reach out. last you. I doubt it. By any time. Uh, I want to upgrade the bike if hey. possible. Manny, what's going on? Probably for speed more than anything else, right? Oh, look at that. That's really good. Nearly double the speed. Nearly double the durability. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. Oh, yeah. Okay. Quieter? Eh, less exciting. Can't get that. Gas tank I'm tempted by. I'm gonna grab that as well. Good choice, man. Good choice. Don't care about that. Can't get the NOS. Better tires as well? Sure. Wrap that up for you. I don't know what else I'll be spending my money on, so... <laughs> the bike seems as good a thing as any, really. I like my current. And we got some new decals. What do we want? What's actually cool? Okay, that one's Bigfoot, so... <laughs> That's, I mean, <laughs> it's a pretty easy choice. I'd like it in white, but... That's okay. Let's see if there's anything in that. It's gotta be Bigfoot, right? I don't think I want to do visual changes. A double little exhaust tip. No. Look me up if you need anything else. Okay, so I mean our bike is a lot right. better now, but it does seem I have to go. I, I thought I could turn in the thing here at Copeland's, but I mean, I just walked up to Copeland and nothing happens, so I'm assuming that's not the case. Um, so we need to go, right, we're going to stop over there for fuel on the way. We're going all the way up there. There isn't anything else to do in this area, as far as I can tell. 
Obviously, there's more exploring to do, etc., etc. But I've got all the checkpoints, right? That's the safe house, radio tower, ambush camp, Nero checkpoint. I think there's meant to be one up there, but I think you need to clear out the nests along the way. Oh, there's a research site there. Oh, we'll grab that. We're right next to it. Yeah, it, it wouldn't make sense not to grab it. <laughs> it would be irresponsible to not grab it, right? Can I get fuel while I'm here? How's it going, Deke? Have any fuel, buddy? Danny, I'm still not happy with you. No. We'll pair it up. I can fix this. That should do it. Okay, let's rock out. New fancy Bigfoot bike. Better traction. Better speed. Bigger fuel tank, which is important. I've gone the wrong way. All these fantastic things going on. Hey, hey, don't shut that goddamn gate on me. Shit. Hold on, I know him. Open up. Of course you know me. I was here two seconds ago, you weirdo. I didn't realize I could go through the other side of the end. Let me get the gate. Thanks, love. Ram da 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 da. It might be ridiculous. I'm mostly more excited about the fuel tank than I am about anything else. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely quite excited about that. I'm just gonna go grab that back on board. Yeah, this plant thing was a major mistake. I'm not stopping! I, sp ah! I spend all my time on the bike. <laughs> Again, I'm not stopping to pick up the plants. Because why would I? You know? I'm gonna try to be a bit more thorough about it when I'm on foot, but other than that... I'm sure that's a terrible idea as well. <laughs> but I cannot. This is Radio Free Oregon. Oh, it's not. The truth shall set you free. No. Well. Yeah, no. Maybe another time, Cope. No. I have gone the wrong way. Yeah, this increased stamina bar is lovely. Look how much more I've got. I think I've fifth I think it's twenty-five per level. I think you start with a hundred, so. Uh how the hell am I getting up there? I just... No. Okay. <laughs> um, am I overcomplicating this? I don't think so. I think it is meant to be... Do I have to go over that way? Yeah. And then up? No. Problem is he can't jump. He vaults over things if you press X in the right spot. But like here, I mean, I could climb it. My character should be able to climb it. Is how I feel. Like if my guy can't do what I can do, then he's not going to survive a bloody zombie apocalypse. Put it that way. I might be relatively strong, but I'm not a nimble guy. <laughs> I'm very flexible. It must be said. I can I can still plant my uh, my hand flat on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna grab the bike, because it's clearly a bit more of a trek away than I expected. Just need to find a way onto this ridge. I think we'll keep the lights off for now. Ah! Promising. What do you mean, leaving playable area? What are you on about? What? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, slightly unexpected. I guess we're... Alright, let's... I'll come back later, I guess. I don't like that either. <laughs> I want to reiterate, because some people get really annoyed when I criticise, and I, I think that's stupid, but they do, so I need to reiterate. I'm very much enjoying this game and this playthrough already, even though we just started, basically. Very, very much enjoying it. Um, played a lot of it very quickly. However, that's... that's I hate that. It just because it, it just pulls me out. It makes it reminds me that I'm playing a game. I'm not imbuing a character, inhibiting a character. I'm not inhibiting this world. I'm playing a video game. There's no reason for that. I mean, I'm sure there is a reason, but they need to do it in a better way than just leaving playable area because that's nonsense. But it's what it is. It's the kind of thing that never would have bothered me before, you know. And I say this a lot, but it, it is the kind of thing that annoys me more as I've 
aged and played more games. And I just want different things from games than I did when I was younger, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why would I assume differently? This is fine. Right. This is the tunnel I came through earlier. Yeah, land of the volcanoes, baby. I never did see the volcano. Crazy willies. Good old willy. This is where I killed the the, the uh, kids, right? <laughs> yeah, as you do. I have explored that building. Yeah, no, I did. This, I did this whole area. Although, I'm not sure I did this cheeky little building. Although, it doesn't seem to be anything. I should stop for fuel. I know, that's why I'm here. All right. Like, I'm not prepared. Oh, God, I did need it. <laughs> I was way lower than I thought I was. God damn. Bigger fuel tank. Still priority numero uno. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little poke, because I don't, I don't think I checked out this building. I'm curious. Because I know I was in the area, but... I guess I should prepare people, just so you are prepared, I suppose, mentally. <laughs> um, I think the game's only about 35 hours long, but for a completionist, not like a full completionist, I would say I don't do full completionist runs in most games, but I tend to pick up most major things. People are talking more like 50 to 60 hours, apparently, so it is. this is going to be a quite a long playthrough, which is probably one of the reasons I've hesitated, because... I don't know. The commitment, aren't they? I'm gonna give this game 50 hours, 60 hours of my life. You know, it's quite a long time. You think about it, you know, to to, to give to something, especially when your time's as valuable as mine is. <laughs> All right, I've got to start collecting plants. Crowberries, two of them. That I build those and plant it too sometimes. That's fun. Why, why isn't that not on my marker on my map? Isn't that the whole point? <laughs> Didn't I take a talent for this exact reason? Medkit. I wonder if if I want to hand the item into um, which door stayed open. If I want to give the item to, I can't remember his name, so I'm going to call him Craw Daddy. If I want to give the item to Craw Daddy, maybe I need to go talk to this other guy first. That could be a thing. We'll see. I can't figure out the way inside. Everything's blocked. I think probably have to get on the roof. I'd guess. That door doesn't open, does it? Oh. <laughs> Shut up, don't say a word. <laughs> Step one, try the bloody door. Wait, I have a vague recollection. Have I not been here? Maybe things restock. I, I think I've been here before. I'll grab some loot while we're here, I suppose. I'm pretty well stocked already, must be said. Yeah, I remember this now. Isn't this where I got the, um... The, uh... Oh, damn. Calm down. <laughs> the cable. The... Brake line. Fuel line. Whatever it was. Anyways. Right. What the hell does that say? Nothing good. <laughs> Let's give it that way. It doesn't say anything good. On we go! Spooky zombie noises, not sexy zombie noises, which was my first thought. This is cool, nice new environment, very deserty and dry. Hard thing to justify in this area, given it's you know foresty, but looks pretty good. 
And you do get places like this. Forests in the middle of the... Oh, uh, deserts in the middle of the forest. Funnily enough, I was talking about this in my Planet Zoo series just the other day. Did the Oryx habitat. Oh, yeah. 360. No, wait, no. <laughs> I tried. The game wasn't having any of it. I want to do some sick tricks, bro. <laughs> Try to preserve some fuel as we go along, actually. Oh, whatever. This is very different. I was not expecting this. Don't like it as much. <laughs> but that's fine, <laughs> you know. It's hard, it's hard to be a lovely misty forest for me, you know. Just who I am. My misty forest. Whee! Although there's a lot of jumps in this place, which is pretty sweet. Maybe I can go fishing. Hello. Little town. Whoa. Not so little town, Jesus. Right, well, I'm gonna assume we probably end up back here anyway, so. You got someone at the gate. Open it up. Any trouble, we throw your ass out. There we go. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. Anybody touches this bike or anything on it. I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. <laughs> okay. This is a Tucker's camp. It's very widespread, isn't it? You've got to imagine this is better than the forest, though. The forest is so densely back. packed with, weirdly enough for a forest, trees that... I think a horde could sneak up on you so much easier, and so could everyone else. Whereas this, you're kind of exposed, but exposed isn't always a bad thing. Because it means your enemies are exposed as well. You. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. I know you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take him months to finish his job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! Damn, took us a dick. What's for a woman? We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al -Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. Or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. Amazing. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, 
Aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I just want to kill myself. <laughs> Jesus. Why does this you keep the ship burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen. Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do, but look, talk, I want the rest of my credits, for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. That's a slightly terrifying sentence. I gotta go find Wheeler. Stop, stop, stop. Someone's looking at a knight in the Come shack. On. Hey, no, 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 I... don't. I'm getting the word. Huh? Oh, God damn it. God damn, it is like a prison. Stop! Don't! Someone take these bloody trucks off my hand, please. <laughs> Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> What's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, they sell weapons. Poor condition. Junk condition? What's this nonsense? Oh, baby. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that's what you want. Trust level three, though. Alright, cool. Supplies, assault rifle ammo, pistol ammo. Alright. I see how it is. Look, you don't trust me enough to sell me anything, you prick. <laughs> what do you want from me? Ah, <sighs> kids these days. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Oh. Bring okay, okay actually. Bring the drug stash to Tucker. Alkai has weapons for sale that are better than yours. Bring the drug stash to Copeland. Manny promised to help restore your piece of shit bike. I feel like the bike is more important than the guns. Because I'm always going to have the bike. Whereas I can replace guns. But then again, I'm going to replace 
Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going for that. I, I, like, I don't like this camp, so that's enough reason, right? Can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. And that, that's a good point. Is. Yep. I was hoping to level up today. I want to spend some skill points. Did it! Got a custom skin, apparently. <gasps> for my bike! Even better! Okay, I should be able to, I should be able to fast travel. Can I fast travel back here? Yeah. I, I quite like the riding, but, you know, it's, it's a long-ass ride. <laughs> There's going to be some fast traveling involved. I'm surprised the game pulled me out of the forest so early. I feel like there's a lot more I could do in the area. I mean, I can if it bloody lets me go. <laughs> Open the gate. I want to try to get level two here, obviously. So. Hey, been seeing you around more. What's up, Manny? There's really no fuel here, Manny. You're a bike boy. You must have fuel. You're not looking so bike boy. We can fill your bike up if you need it. Where is it again? I'm confused. Um. Wait, it's not here. Where is it? It's not here. Oh, we fuel. Oh my god, it's expensive. Oh, urgh, urgh. <laughs> hmm. What's my fuel like? Thanks, oh, I was in here. What's the daisy? If the fuel's okay, I'm not going to do that. That's that's way pricier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, but with good reason. Let's God go damn it. Team. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, that hurt my soul a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean I am in deep, deep agony. Hey, Cope. I think Leon was bringing you this. Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. He has such a weird head. <laughs> no offense to the actor, I think it's probably a real person. But he just has, I think it's because he's got teeny tiny baby eyes, you know? Oh wow, 5,000 trust. Yeah, I have no regrets about that. Oh, is it because I hadn't done the... You literally Manny, just showed me this. <laughs> Manny, I'm still not happy with you. What do you need? Let me try again. I'm so confused. What what am I missing? Oh, oh my god, I didn't see this. Wow, okay. <laughs> didn't see this at all. So is it one of these ones? It's because I've only got one glossy, but that just happens to be the one I was on. So I think it's a set, right? So I got like the colour for that and I get the um Hmm. I like the blue, the blue's pretty cool. However, Hello, Deke. Busy, bro. This should last you for a while. Nice. And then what I want to do... I was hoping that would be lighter. Should have more stuff later. See? Um... Wait, so what's my mission? <laughs> Do I have one? Oh, right, okay. Do I have to go back there? Oh, got that. So, when I was growing up, my dad rides bikes, right? It's like, it's like a, a thing he does. Um, uh, oh, I can't, I'm tempted to ride, because I can... Yeah, so I'm just going to ride. I can refuel along the way, so... Um, I don't like the, how the green looks. <laughs> I'm going to have to change the green, I'm afraid. Um, but my dad rides bikes. I'm not has like my entire life. Goes on track days, yada yada yada. Oh. Loser. Why the 
hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. You, you remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go out there, Dean. It's, it's making you crazy. Who's your a how? Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, loser. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And I'm gonna tell those boozers the stone crop. Get her right. Yep, yeah, boozer. You ignoramus. Ow. Ow. <laughs> well, that's not good. I got a new uh, quest up. So what am I doing? Clear the abandoned Nero refuge G camp again. Which one? Am I going the right way already? It's cool. Oh my god, it's Mars way. <laughs> Never mind. I am very much not going the right way already. St. John, Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Alright, we'll do that along the way. Uh, okay, cool. We've got two quests. Um, I was trying to say words. So, yeah, my dad always had bikes. And when I was a kid... Oh my god. <laughs> like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's alright? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Aww. Tucker's like big old softy, really. Um, anyways, my dad had a Karazaki Ninja, and that was like the first motorbike in my life, really. The first one I ever rode on. Tucker to Deacon St. John, are you listening? I talked to al the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Woman can talk for bloody England, I tell you. Anyways, my dad had a white and bright lime green Kawasaki Ninja and it was it's, I don't know when I think of a motorbike a green and white Kawasaki Ninja is the first motorbike that comes to mind for me so I kind of wanted to to put that in in a little way it hasn't really worked out must be said when it says parallel <laughs> it means straight right surely as in yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know what parallel means. But how does it transfer to the bike? Surely it means that I want to land like this, right? Yeah. As in, you don't want your tyres to be at an angle. Which makes sense to me anyway. That that would be better for the bike. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's what it means. Basically, it means straighten, straighten out your tires before you land. I'm assuming. Someone's coming. It's me. It's a drifter. Let him in. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no trouble. Okay. What's that? Oh, bounties. So I can turn in here as well. Um. I mean, I do prefer the other camp at the moment. I guess. Because I want to upgrade the bike more than I want to buy guns. Is there a bike? Yeah, here we go. Hey, Do you have man. anything? Hey, just taking a look. Nope. Okay, so this place is... Stuff's uh, upstairs. This place for guns, the other place for bikes. See you around. Yeah, I think I'm going to paint it white. Instead of green. Now, why am I here? So I've got this, and I've got this. I'm looking for Tucker. This way? How's it going? Hey, what's going on? Can I help you? Tucker! 
Camp jobs. Encampment leaders often contract out work they need done. Complete these missions and jobs for reward you with encampment trust and credits. Listen for radio calls to find out when a new mission or job Gee, is available. You ever ride with a drifter or scars all over his face? Carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alkai okay, about that? He beat a man, Deke. And a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt, oh, Maria, right? Oh, Jesus, this asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service Watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. I suspect these are maybe... Not repeatable, but a constant source of quests throughout the hey, game, Tuck. I think. So, am I on your trust list, or no? Well, based on the fact that I have nobody rep, I assume not. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Wait, you call Zanny? <laughs> Is that a mechanic called Zanny? Is there Zanny and Manny? So, I mean, that says 7%. What's that 7% referring to? It's just this quest line. But what about the woman? I'm confused. Wasn't there one? Jesus. I did a... Uh, wasn't there one with the woman that he want she wanted me to find? But there's nothing about that. So... I mean, we can go there, or we can go up there. I think we'll go up here while we're here, though. What time are we on? Uh, you know what, we'll just end it. <laughs> it's a good time. No, tell you what we'll do. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do the journey over there. I feel like I haven't done anything in this video, you know? I did burn the first ten minutes dying to that bloody horde, admittedly. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I can't stop this bike, I tell you. I mean, this is definitely nighttime. It is a bit bright. Video games are terrified of giving us dark nights. Look how light this is. In the middle of nowhere, there's no light pollution. Why is it, like, you know, looks like it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> and every game, this is not unique to Days Gone. I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Don't mind if I do. Oh, is it there? That's miles away. Alright, alright, alright. How many am I dealing with here? It feels like a lot. Uh, it's quite a lot. Well, that was rubbish. Need to heal! Get off me, you numpty! Bloody hell! <laughs> oh, that is by many orders of magnitude the most zombies I've ever killed. Those Molotovs sucked. <laughs> I'm sure if you directly hit in a way that the the more useful, but boy, oh, that's right. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Oh, it's up now.
Wrong bloody weapon! But damn wolves! God damn it! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh boy! No! Get off me, you son of a bitch! I love wolves, but not in this situation. This place is brutal! Look how many things have just tried to murder me! Okay, definitely didn't mean to hit that one, but whatever. I didn't know she was there. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. I just kept hitting right trigger. Jesus. <laughs> I was not expecting the bajillion zombies, then the three wolves. Thank God I had that rifle ammo, I tell you. I mean, I could have got away, but I wanted to kill them. I need to clear the nest. There's gonna be plenty more of them. I need one. Yeah, time to light it up. But one pistol bullet. Oh boy. Well, at least I made that count. Fuck! <sighs> well, it must be said, those are the kind of moments where you become better at the game, you know? <laughs> because you have to really fight and think and try. <laughs> oh, where the hell did you come from? Nope, not what I wanted to do. Game, game, stop, please. Okay, can, can I like climb onto this vehicle? You know what? Go. There's another one here somewhere. Right, how is that not killing them? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Ammo. Well, I scared them away. A lot of loot here. I want it. Ah, Jesus. I knew I had enough for one shot. <laughs> I am unequipped for the situation. I'm sorry, Wolfie, I really am. I mean, I'm not. You did try to murder me first, so you kind of brought it on yourself. Oh my god, can I please be done with this area? This is mad. On the plus side, lots of resources, you know. But I now have no ammo for any gun. And no melee weapon. And even no healing items. I can make more, but not many. So, yeah, I mean... <laughs> what I have to do is um, go back to camp, sell everything, kill them. You know, find a merchant. Because Jesus. 
<laughs> just kept on coming. God damn it. This place is a step up, I'll tell you that much. Obviously, <sighs> man's oh, man's in here. I'm using that implant as well. Right, <laughs> so I do want to finish this area. Um, basically, how I think it works is so you can see this is going to be a checkpoint, right? Probably because that is a it's a Nero thing, but you have to clear all the infections along the route to the checkpoint, or it doesn't activate. So that's why you clear things out, basically. Yeah, I mean, I can't even travel there because there's an infection in the area. So, I think that's because I'm in this red line, basically. I think, basically, they look at the road. Because, basically, it's not like an auto-fast travel. It's, you know, Deke rides his bike there. So, basically, what they do is they, they put the... Kind of like if I click over here, it puts a route in the game, right? Adds the route, and then they trace along the route. And if any of that route has the red from this infection site like this, then it means you can't travel in that direction. Which is actually, I think, a really nice idea. Also, it's 2.20 a.m. Which I, th I think that's a really nice idea, but... Um... Jesus. <laughs> okay, so we're going to maybe go explore over there a little bit, try to get some loot of some description. What I need to find is some bloody ammo, more than anything else. Even a melee weapon I'd be happy with. Just something weapon-wise would be great. But... Uh... You know, we, talk, we did a lot of cool things today. We got a new camp, we saw the horde, killed many wolves, nearly died, did die a few times. Had a lot of fun. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.